Hi guys, it's Mike again, and I want to talk to you today about uh, the world and cloud applications. So when I have cloud apps like Office 365, I want to be able to detect anomalous behaviors of users and take action. So let's say I have a user who is based in North America here and they log into Office 365 and they start to uploading and downloading files from Drive or whatnot and, and sending emails. Now that's okay, but what if at the same time or within a number of hours, there's another user that comes in here and tries to log in from Africa into Office 365. Obviously, the user from North America couldn't have flown across the globe to Africa and attempted to log in at the same time. So you want to be alerted of that. Now that's great, and there is some visibility in O365 to be able to get uh, logs and whatnot and pull them out and do that type of correlation. But what happens when you start rolling out more cloud apps? And now you have Salesforce, and now you have Box, and they're disparate. It starts to become very difficult to track activities like this. What if this user logged into Office 365 in North America, but then another user with the same credentials using the same username logged into a different app, like Box? How do you solve that problem? So cloud access security brokers can actually help you solve that problem. To put a barrier here in between any user attempting to access one of these cloud apps, and uh, BitGlass is one of those. So BitGlass sits here basically between any of these accesses from these users to O365 or, or to Box and provides a layer of security uh, and access control so that you get visibility into what's happening not only at login time uh, but also as data is uploaded and downloaded. So this is a really simple uh, example of, of activity. But what if instead you started looking at the user's profile across a given week and you see a number of uh, various normal behaviors of, of averages, let's say, of uploads and downloads of content or creation of, uh, of opportunities and whatnot in Salesforce. And you start tracking that. And you start doing uh, heuristics and, and detection. What you want to have happen is to be able to detect when all of a sudden on, on one of these days I have a, a peak, an anomaly, versus a, uh, an average. And so with BitGlass, you can identify things like this spot these sort of uh, activities that are potentially suspicious, uh, that aren't quite as obvious as the user logging in from two different locations. And additionally, you want to be able to take action. And so uh, what BitGloss actually provides is a number of ways to do so. We tie in through APIs as well as proxies. And so from a, a, a detection perspective, if you then identify that this particular activity associated with user, this user in Africa was anomalous, you want to be able to take action. Right? And so with a proxy, we can detect this on the fly, and even though that user was able to successfully gain access and log in, we can cut off that connection to block it. And that's pretty unique. So what happens is you combine rich analytics and rich uh, machine learning and anomalous activity detection with this proxy technology to cut off access all on the fly, and you get something very powerful and interesting. So come talk to us a little bit more uh, about the details behind uh, these technologies.